Good morning, everyone. I hope all are doing well. So the two books we're going to read today, Are You Familiar With Breathe Like a Bear? by Kara Wiley for Mindful Moments, and a new book called The Grouchies by Debbie Wagenbach. I think I said the name right. I hope I said the name right. So first, I'll read a couple pages from Breathe Like a Bear. Do you ever feel a little, well, hyper? Like you have ants in your pants? Can it be really hard to calm down sometimes? These exercises are easy and fun and they'll help you settle your mind and your body so that you feel calm and peaceful. You can do these as many times as you like and you might even want to try your favorite one with your eyes closed. Before you start, sit up tall and hold your body still. Have you ever heard someone say, let's take five? It means you take a quick break from what you're doing and it's a great way to calm down. You breathe in and think one, two, three, four, five. All right, so let's try it. Let's breathe in. And breathe out. Whenever you're mad or upset, try to remember, take five. It can also help you feel calm and peaceful. So now let's read The Grouchies. It's such a good idea to talk about books that we are reading with children because it increases their understanding and their love of reading. We're gonna read The Grouchies, so let's get started. Today the grouchies got me. They pushed me out of bed. They chased me down the hallway, and this is what they said. Grouch and grump at everyone you meet throughout the day. Don't be nice to anyone, and you will get your way. <gasps> oh, the grouchies hovered over me like dark clouds shade the sun. Creepy, gloomy, grumpy thoughts took over thoughts of fun. Then I saw the oatmeal. I scowled and turned away. Well, I didn't want the oatmeal, and my mom made it anyways. She fluffed my hair and hugged me close. Where's your smile today? She took away my oatmeal and sent me off to play. Mm. I peeked into the playroom at my sister serving tea. Her dolls and bears were all invited, everybody but me. The grouchy sizzled, then I snapped. She had my bear named Ted. The grouchy's words came back to me, and this is what they said. Grouch and grump at everyone you meet throughout the day. Don't be nice to anyone and you will get your way. I snorted a disgusting sound and jumped up on the chair. I grabbed for Ted and yelled at her and I pulled her dolly's hair. Much to my amazement, she looked really hurt. Inside, she ran to go tell mom and she cried and cried and cried. Mom was disappointed. I saw it on her face. She moved me to a quiet room and I slowly took my place. Later at the playground, my friends played in the sand. Joe and Hannah waved to me and I didn't lift a hand. I kicked some sand and grumped at them, creating such a scene. They left to play with other friends and said that I was mean. Dad said it was time to go. He was upset with me. The Grouchies jumped and sang their song with gloomy, grumpy glee. Grouch and grump at everyone you meet throughout the day. Don't be nice to anyone and you will get your way. Home, I stomped upstairs to play all by myself. The Grouchies stomped along with me. They climbed up on the shelf. I spread my brand new pirate puzzle all over the table. I tried to make the pieces fit, but I was just unable. This annoyed me. I was mad. I sent the pieces flying. My room became one big mess and I really felt like crying. After dinner, Dad asked me to be his super pal. He would wash the dishes if I dried them with a towel. I really didn't want to. I say I wouldn't try. The grouches made me jump and yell and with their nasty cry. Grouch and grump at everyone you meet throughout the day. Don't be nice to anyone and you will get your way. I don't believe them. 
I was finished. I gave up. The day was just so bad. The grouchy scheme did not work out and all were sad or mad. Bedtime came. I wasn't happy. My parents tucked me in. Dad held me close. Mom kissed my cheek and lifted up my chin. She asked me why I was so grumpy all throughout the day. I told them how the grouchies came and said I'd get my way. Now my friends won't play with me. Mom and Dad weren't glad. My little sister cried all day and I feel really bad. Mom whispered softly in my ear that things would be okay. Dad said we all get grumpy if the grouchies get their way. Dad said that grouchies could be strong and make their way sound good, but rude and grumpy actions are never understood. Mom said she heard the grouchies chant when she was five like me. She found some ways to lock them up and toss away the key. Dad told me that the happy thoughts could shield me from attacks. Mom said choosing to be nice stopped grouchies in their tracks. Running off some steam, Dad said, puts grouchies in a trance. Drawing a picture, sing a song, don't give them a chance. Mom's gentle hug erased my fears. Dad's words were always true. If they could beat the grouchies, I knew that I could too. Tomorrow I will be a friend much nicer than today. I'll smile, I'll share. I won't be mean to try to get my way. I hugged my teddy bear and closed my sleepy eyes. I filled my mind with happy thoughts instead of groans and sighs. Morning came, the grouchies tried to push me out of bed. I held them off with my new plan, and this is what I said. Smile and speak to everyone with kindness in your voice. Grouchies, go away. I say, I made smiles my choice. Oh, look. What do we say when we are done with a book? The end. Talk about feelings again. How are you feeling today? Remember we talked about feeling sad, tired, sick? Happy, calm, good, mad, scared, worried, mean, and angry. So, can you tell me how you're feeling today? Do you see what color zone your feeling is in? The zones are the areas, the blue green, yellow, or red. So next video, we will pause and discuss more about the zones of regulation. Hi friend. Miss Angie here for a breathing moment. I have a expanding ball here, a Hoberman ball. And you can use the ball if you have one. You can use just your hands and open your hands up and close your hands closed. There are many different options, but right now I'm going to use the ball. And we are going to take a few deep, slow breaths. Right, here we go. You ready? We're going to count to five as we smell the roses, and then we're going to count to five when we blow out the candles. All right, friends, get your seat ready. All right, now smell the roses. One, two, three, four, five, and blow out the candles. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, smell the roses. One, two, three, four, five. And blow out the candles. One, two, three, four, five. Smell the roses. One, two, three, four, five. And blow out the candles. One, two, three, four, five. Last one, friends. Smell the roses. One, two, three, four, five. 
and blow out the candle. One, two, three, four, five. All right, friends, thank you so much for hanging out with me for this breathing moment. Take care. This is Jeannie here. She just wanted to wish you a happy day and she wanted to do one breathing ball breath with you, my friends, okay? So I'm going to hold the ball with Jeannie and we're both gonna breathe together, okay, friends? Okay, smell the roses, inhale. One, two, three, four, five, and exhale, blow out the candles. One, two, three, four, five. Last time, smell the roses. One, two, three, four, five, and blow out the candles. One, two, three, four, five. All right, friends. Jeannie says, Bye. We miss you. Can't wait to see you again in school.